In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the group policy result tool to verify uh, what group policies are getting applied to a specific user or computer. So first, let me pull up Group Policy Management Console. And I'll just uh, take a look and see what group policies um, I've got applied. So at the domain level, I have a domain default domain policy uh, at the uh, AD Pro Computers OU. I've got a restricted group groups help desk and a computer power settings uh, group policy object. And then if I go down into my users, I have a users browser settings group policy. So how this uh, group policy result tool will help is um, when you generate a report, it will help you um, know what policies are getting applied to a computer or user. So this is a pretty small setup, but as you can imagine in a big environment when you've got lots of group policies, it can be difficult to um, know exactly what policies are getting applied. So let's take a look at this command. An uh, important tip is to make sure you open up the command prompt as administrator. So you'll want to right click and run as administrator. If you don't, the tool will have, uh, it'll, it'll give you access denied when running uh, a report for the computer. So to generate a report for both um, user and computer, so if you want to see what all policies are applied, you just run gp result slash r and that will generate a report for the currently logged on user and for the computer so scroll back up here and come down here to computer settings and what's nice is it'll tell you the last time the new policy was applied uh, what domain controller it was applied from, the domain type, just kind of some general information. And there it shows you the local profile, um, current login user. So let's scroll down here. And here it shows me the apply group policy objects. And again, this is the computer settings. So here's the restrictor groups, help desk, uh, computer, and the local policy and the default domain policy. So um, Going back to what we looked at first in the group policy management console, this verifies that the policies that I do have applied or set are getting applied down to the computer. And it shows you the order that they're applied in. Um, and it shows you the what groups this computer is a part of. And we keep scrolling down and now it shows the user settings. And again, it shows you uh, what DC it was applied from, your domain, uh, where this, the OU, where the user is. And then we look at the, um, the apply group policy settings for the user. And I only had one, and it shows that it is applied to this uh, currently logged on user. <clears throat> and if I had any filtering going on, it would show that here as well, um, such as you know, you've got a group policy that's applied to that OU where your users are at, but maybe you've got um, a filter set to deny that policy to some users. It would show you that filtering here, but I currently do not have any filtering going on. So let's say you want to <clears throat> target a specific user or computer, or you just want to see the computer. Uh, what, what group policy objects are applied to the computer only. So it's still run the slash R. Then I would do scope. And then computer. And this will generate the group policy results just for the computer. And you can do the same thing for user. And now it's going to display the group policies just for that user. 
Another useful command is the slash h. This will generate an HTML report uh, that contains a bit more details. Let me run that. Okay. <clears throat> By default, it puts this HTML report in the Windows System 32 directory. Okay, here it is. So it provides a little more details than just running it from uh, the command prompt. I'll show you if you've got any errors that it detected last time. Google group policy refreshed. Um, this information here is the same. Um, and then we can scroll down and it shows you here are the policies for the computer settings that got applied. And from here you can actually go in and uh, look at some of the settings. The group policy settings are um, no, I'll take that back. Just more details on the group policy that I got applied. So that's the computer settings. And again, shows you any denied or filtered group policies. And then the user details. Let's go down. And here's the group policies that got applied for the user settings. So that's a nice little report that gets generated that you can refer back to if needed. So those are just a few examples of using... Uh, the GP result uh, tool for Windows to verify group policy settings. You can also run this tool against remote um, computers and you could do export the results out to a text file. If you want to see the complete syntax, just do a GP result question mark and you can see the complete syntax. Um, not all of these you'll need, but the ones that I cover in this video are the most frequently used ones. But I do have more examples up on my website. I have a link to the text version of this tutorial in the notes. And that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching.